All right, here we are. It is Calvin and Hobbes Finals, uh, Game 8. And uh, the difference this time around is that this is the first game um, that Xenophon has actually picked, I should note. Uh, the rest of these games, since Karma has been winning them so decisively, Karma or Spy filling in for Karma, uh, have not been able to be picked by Team Xenophon. So this is the first time that Xenophon, in Game 8, has, has been able to make a pick. And he has picked uh, no unit trading on... Uh, full house. So just basically what we saw last game, but this time both sides will have cannons. Xenophon, as you can see, uh, well, excuse me, this is Team uh, Karma. Karma, Spy, Walter White, Father Xmas, Leonardo, and Gorilla, and MP Mint. And the cannons going to Walter White and Gorilla. Pretty standard uh, move on the cannon there. Xenophon for his team, holding both cannons. Uh, again, interesting that he's been doing this kind of consistently. I would have, you know, expected him to be more... Uh, more of a rush style player as we saw in the last game. But anyway, he's got with him Overdose, Hobbs, Geral, Cryptos, and X. And so they are still playing at that one player disadvantage. And of course they are they are down you know quite a bit in this tournament. They've got a long road to go, but they did just win the last game. Uh, so they have a potential here to uh, get the get the um, the recuperation underway. And uh, will they be able to do it? Let's see what the plan is here. I guess these guys are now all on voice chat at this point, so not a lot of chat. I think we're going to see. Also, um, this you know it's late in the late in the tournament now, and they're going to get their heads down. And uh, you know, we, I won't. I doubt we'll be seeing too many mistakes from these guys. Overdose wants those cannons to move up. Piles being blown, attempted to blow there. That was a miss from Xenophon with the defense. As the planes develop, let's see. So I'm betting this is Karma in the swamps. Oh, no, Leonardo with a odd swamps attack. And then we see Father Xmas with Spy moving into the planes. Now, so Team uh, Xenophon has come way up here. Geral with X and Overdose and Hobbs. They are in advance, but as you see, they're outnumbered. And with the flank, here comes Karma. That was brilliant timing. Again, he's going to envelop this. Geral Toad is in trouble here. He is blown up, I think, possibly by one of his own cannons. Although there you can see uh, possibly Empiment losing quite a bit of his men there to a Zook attack from Overdose. Spy tossing grenades at him. That went bad, says Empiment. Karma has moved all the way past. He just walked past Kryptos, who is now coming up behind him. But Karma is going straight for the backfield. Or excuse me, that was Leonardo. Yes, Leonardo uh, going straight for the backfield there. Oh, sorry, uh, he's coming back to his base. I guess the heel must have been, uh, or just panicking, I don't know. But uh, whatever the case, he's getting out of there and is being chased by Kryptos. Uh, yeah, so I'm kind of curious about where is Karma this game. We saw him uh, come in and destroy that planes attack, and uh, which went to a tie. I mean, they, they uh, definitely halted the offense from Team Xenophon. But in terms of the units, you can see this is not much of an advantage here. Spy with two men and Karma just kind of holding this down. So if I were Team Xenophon, I'd be reinforcing this. I can't believe, I doubt they're worried about this. They've only got one man. Crypto's, uh, Team Xenophon only has one man in the backfield there. That uh, might have been another uh, suicidal cannon attack from Xenophon. I think he, he's killed more of his own men this game than he has the enemy, unfortunately. This attack is pretty broken up. Overdose is coming with X to reinforce it. Hobbs is way too far forward here against Spy. Spy is just going to take him to pieces. There we go. There's another man back there, but I can't quite see him. Looks like Team Karma was able to take out, must have been Kryptos right there, pushing him back. But there's another unit, Kryptos with a second unit here, just once again, uh, relentlessly harassing in the backfield there. But as you can see, Team Xenophon has dropped down in percents, 17% now, that's a significant lead for Team Karma. Overdose X. And Geral Toad with Hobbs. So the big presence here on the planes for Team Xenophon. Leonardo noting that extra Kryptos man behind them. This is a potential uh, a spy might be outnumbered here if Geral Toad, Hobbs, X, 
and Overdose can make something happen here. Overdose backing way, way back. I would be rushing Spy at this point. As I can see, Team uh, Team Karma's coming with the reinforcements. Yeah, there's Karma himself on the way. They're obviously working on this, this crypto situation, but they've clearly pushed him back. That was Hobbs getting blown to shreds. And that is going to do it, I think, for this rush. It's kind of a staggered rush. Overdose and X are now just running. They're being hounded. Spy with Karma. Up 20% says Leonardo. X is gunned down. Even Gorilla is getting in on this now. Willing to play kind of passively there. Overdose is going to run all the way back. And I think Jeral should probably clear out of there too. I would not be making this uh, attack if I were him. He's injured. He's going to run into Spy. Try to go with the RPG. Does some damage. He does get Spy, but then is taken out himself uh, by Spy's second unit. We're D now, says Xenophon. Yep. So that is it. Oh, somebody just got vaporized there at the in the back pile. Father Xmas with two kills there. Oh, it was Kryptos. So he must have chased Kryptos all the way back from the flag. Uh, Kryptos was trying to get into the backfield there, but wasn't able to make it. Overdose is, is I can see, uh, getting kind of annoyed here. He wants the cannons to move forward. One of the cannons is taken out. If I were uh, Team Karma, I would be bringing up their cannons. Yep. Two kills there from Walter White. Two kills there from Gorilla. They are up huge now. 42%. Yep, these guys are just going to get bombed to pieces. There is not a lot left. Three infantry. Karma and Spy working the planes with Gorilla. Close one on Karma. Overdose asking for the cannon now, but it is pretty late in the game for this. That, of course, gives Xenophon no units as well. Xmas going to give it to you, says Leonardo. That was Father Xmas with the rush. That was what Leonardo was referring to. Xmas going in. He gets somebody, but then is bayoneted. Stop cold by Xenophon and Kryptos. But there is so little defense left now. Team Karma, once again, we see them, they get, they start, they start steamrolling, and they build up this momentum, and now they are in position. That was a great, R great RPG, though, from X. Uh, able to even that out a little bit, but, I mean, it, it, will it be enough? That was Karma and Gorilla. That might have been Spy getting blown up there. Karma and Gorilla, two men want to make this happen. Uh, clearly, though, they could have waited for Father Xmas to come support them. Spy, they, oh, Spy's over here with the RPG, doing some damage. That cannon is wounded. It might just get grenaded right here. Yeah, taken out there. And it is. there's three men here. Gorilla, Karma, and Spy. Great RPG there from Gorilla. Two men. This is Spy. Can just walk on and tag this. He's going to delay. Shoot, shoot down X here. Bayonets him, and it's just Xenophon. I imagine they'll take him out before they... Uh, go in for the tag if they do at all. <laughs> Xenophon bayonets Karma, but then is taken out by Spy, and you can see there Spy had two units, so he brought up a second unit as well, and also on the way was Empty Mint with Father Xmas. So Father Xmas uh, was a little premature on his rush there. Uh, Kryptos for Team Xenophon wasn't able to get really into the backfield. He was trying. Uh, the rest of these guys just got whittled down. Jeral actually did the most damage there, the most work. Uh, he was making some kind of suicidal attacks, though. You see, he lost quite a bit, but uh, did did do the damage work there for Team Xenophon. Xenophon himself, uh, three losses, two of those were cannons, uh, but three kills. And I know he blew up some of his own men, uh, with I do believe, with some um, friendly fire there. So that's, that is where it is for Team Xenophon. Uh, that was the penultimate game. or the Yeah, so... Um, Team Karma is going to win that. Team Karma, uh, Spy, MVP there for sure. Uh, look at that. Six kills, 28 damage. Uh, was just a powerhouse factor on the planes. And Gorilla as well. Karma, though, did some great work uh, kind of being everywhere there. He was able to counter a planes, the, the early planes rush, which was really the only serious offense that Team Xenophon had. 
Uh, and then a uh, gorilla, just, I mean, big numbers. Let's see here. Walter Wright as well. Uh, three kills, nine damage. That damage doesn't really reflect because those are, those are cannon kills. So obviously he was doing something right there and possibly, uh, yeah, gorilla, I think was taken out. One of those cannons must've been blown up, but, uh, they, you know, they were doing, um, some damage at any rate. And Leonardo basically, you see, playing defense. Uh, MP Mint also kind of playing defense that game. So that might just be the, the numerical advantage. You know, you have that extra man. You can you can afford to keep a couple of those guys uh, just on defense. And they, they were on, you know, they saw when Cryptos was trying to sneak around the backfield uh, and, you know, prevented him from doing too much uh, too much damage back there. On the And then, you know, slowly develop that attack, uh, kind of leisurely at, uh, pace there from Team Karma. And as you can see, that was really emphasized by the, the ending where Team Karma didn't even feel they needed to grab the flag. They could just, just whittle down Team Xenophon, just knock them out of the game. Xenophon, again, holding two cannons, has not worked out for him at any point during this tournament. I don't know what he's playing at there. Uh, I feel like maybe he's, he's just, he's, he's feeling he's the captain. He's got to take responsibility for that. But clearly, um, you know, he's been doing better work when he's been rushing uh, with just infantry or something. So, or playing defense with infantry. So whatever the case, he should be giving away some of those cannons. But again, maybe he feels uh, with his, his, the way his team is stacked up, he just wants to go give them the opportunity to be o as offensive as possible. But as you can see, it just, it has not been paying off uh, for Team Xenophon. So once again, uh, that is now, um, that was game eight. And that is going to give Team Karma, six games, which means they just need to win one game to take this tournament. Uh, Team Xenophon with one win and uh, one tie.